Hey Starlicker comrades, it's that time of the week again, Free Beer Friday. But today we're mixing it up and sampling cider with Katie from Crispin. So Katie, Crispin is based both in Minnesota and California. What's the story there? Yeah, so our uh, company was headquartered in uh, Minneapolis. It's where our owner uh, lived and uh, where our offices started out. Uh, quickly, we uh, looked for a commercial cidery that could produce cider on the scale that we wanted to grow to. Uh, and we hooked up with Fox Barrel Cidery in uh, Colfax, California. And uh, over about two years ago now, we acquired them wholly, and uh, that's where all of our ciders are now produced. You rep both Crispin and Fox Barrel. What's the difference? So, unlike a lot of other cider companies out there uh, that are doing pear ciders that are actually apple ciders with pear flavorings, we do 100% pear ciders. We're using 100% fresh pressed pear juice. Uh, and so, to really emphasize that point, we give Fox Barrel a different label and a different name than Crispin. Uh, we really want you to be able to tell that Crispin is all apples, Fox Barrel is all pears. You guys have a lot of different ciders in both 4-packs and 22-ounce bottles. Which are the most popular? So the 4-packs are our classic lines. Uh, they're going to be really crisp, refreshing, uh, clean flavors, really easy to drink. The larger bottles are what we call our tisnols, uh, and they're unfiltered hard ciders. Uh, and that's where we get really creative. We play around with different fruit flavors, we add in different yeast, different uh, things like honey and molasses and maple syrup. So, you know, it really depends on your mood as far as what you want to drink, but definitely our crisp and original. Um, the blue label is uh, our most popular. Uh, second up in the crisp and line is definitely our honey crisp. Uh, definitely evokes images of a honey crisp apple. You smooth it out with a little organic honey, it just adds a little bit of subtle sweetness. Uh, and from there, with Fox Barrel, our Pacific Pear is definitely our most popular. In general, is the popularity of cider growing? So, just in the last year, everybody seems to be coming out with a cider. It's a huge growing market, uh, actually the fastest growing category within the craft beer segment. Uh, and we're really, really excited to be a part of that. And uh, some of the things we're doing really help uh, grow the category. We have a lot of customers who look for a gluten-free option. Is uh, this a big market for you? Yeah, gluten-free is a huge part of what we do. Uh, we're really proud to have ciders that are all gluten-free. In fact, uh, just last week we received a gluten-free certification uh, that you'll start seeing on all of our labels. Our cidery is now 100% uh, gluten-free. Box wines have become very popular as a good value. Might Crispin go this route? Yes, we are actually going to be bringing in some box ciders. Uh, this is a really unique product. Nobody has done this before. We're really excited about it. They're going to be still ciders. Uh, and they're going to be a little different flavors than we have uh, on the market right now. So you're going to see uh, Cidre Blanc from Crispin, which is uh, a little bit drier, but still really refreshing and very drinkable. Uh, and then a little bit sweeter pomegranate pear from Fox Barrel. Wow. Uh, and they're going to come in at a really nice price point, so definitely look for it in your local store. How did the tasting of Star Liquor go tonight? Uh, I love Star Liquor. It's my favorite place to taste. So, uh, yeah, it went really well. Awesome. Well, thanks, Katie. And remember, guys, free beer tastings every Friday from 4 to 7 at Star Liquor. Thank you, guys. Thank you.